Wherever you are joining me from today, for today, the second day of this month, the second day of this program, I want to lift up your hand and let's worship our Lord, our God, let's bless His holy name, let's give Him thanks, let's give Him praise, let's worship His holy name, let's adore Him, let's say thank you, Jesus, for another opportunity to see another beautiful day. Lift up your hand and let's worship Him, lift up your hand and let's worship God, lift up your hand and let's celebrate Him. Thank you, Jesus. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me. Lord, we say thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we worship you. We worship you. Just breathe your name upon me. Say, Father, to joy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to lift up our hand and appreciate God before we go into today's prayer. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate God because God is said to do a great things, a greater things in your life. Not only in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, in everything that concerns you, God is said to do wonders today. God is said to visit you. God is said to do his wonders. God is said to bring his healing. God is said to bring his restoration. Why not just lift up a hand and appreciate him? Lift up a hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. Thank you, our sustainer. Thank you, our healer. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and appreciate him. The psalmist said, I slept and I wait for the Lord God to sustain me. If it's not of the Lord's mercy, the enemy will prevail over us. If it's of the Lord's mercy, the enemy will prevail over our marriage. If it's of the Lord's mercy, you and I, only God knows what will have become of us. Why not just lift up your hand and appreciate him? Why not just lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus? Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor. Take all glory, take all honor. Take all glory, take all honor. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we have worship. In Jesus' name, we have decree. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for this day. Thank you for this month. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for everything that concerns each and every one of us. To you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as we come before you today, the second day of this month, the second day of this program, I ask that Father, let heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of mercy, heavens of favor, heavens of lifting, heavens of revelation, heavens of divine encounter. Father, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Today, being the very first Thursday of this month, today, another day, double in one, hours of mercy and the second day of prayer avalanche. Father, I decree, I declare, heavens of mercy, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of mercy, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Father, visit us, O Lord. Visit us, O Lord, 
in the name of Jesus. Take all glory. Sweet Holy Spirit, as we come before you, Holy Spirit, have your way in our life, have your way in our, in our midst. We cannot do it by ourselves. We cannot do anything. For the scripture said, we don't know what to pray. But the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, grown through us, praying in us. I ask the Holy Spirit, you arise, you visit us, you pray through us, you pray in us, in the name of Jesus. And at the end, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever the time is in your hand, you are welcome to the second day of this month, the second day of this program, the second day of this meeting, prayer avalanche. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. Great things the Lord God is doing. Wherever you are joining me from, quickly, please, I believe you, because it's an instruction, the Lord said we should all come with uh, our prayer request. I have my prayer request here already. Praise the Lord. This is my prayer note. Amen. I have all my prayer requests. Amen. The prophetic word. I have everything here. Amen. And also, the Lord said we should come with Mantu. That we should come with Mantu. I believe you have yours there. Amen. If you are joining me, you are logging in your office. You know what, what to do. Amen. Because you need to work. Just put them beside your system. If you are watching on the, your desktop, amen, or you are listening to the podcast on your desktop, or you are logging in uh, through the, uh, YouTube or your from your desktop in the office, continue with your, with your work. Amen. I have, right now, I have uh, an earpiece with me here. So you can do the same thing. Put on the earpiece and you continue with that work. Amen. Your mantu, your prayer notes, uh, your, your prayer requests, just put them in your front and continue that work. You must work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. So if you don't have your prayer request, quickly write them down now. now. We did the next 30 seconds. Write them down. Amen. And if you don't have, if it's your anki, ankashi, please put them there. Amen. The Lord will answer us in the name of Jesus. Let me give us a tip. Elisha, not Elijah, Elisha that took after Elijah divided the sea with what with mantle just a piece of paper just a piece of cloth it's not even a beautiful one because the bible said when his master was being taken away from him he grabbed his cloth and when he grabbed his cloth what happened tell me what happened when he grabbed his cloth the cloth turned so that pieces of cloth that turned in his hand that was what he used to divide the sea praise the lord Another school of thought said, the mantle that Elijah put on him when he first encountered him, when he, you know he's a, he, he was a farmer, that he used that one. But the Bible said, the clothes the, that was torn from Elijah's garment when he held on to him, that was what he used. I die any of the two. Please get your mantle ready. Because every obstruction, every obstruction, everything, anything that stands as hindrance, on your way to fulfillment hear me sir hear me man today this week this is in, the lord god is going to visit you and there's going to be separation in the name of jesus if moses just lift up his rod moses just lift up his rod and the rest he parted if elijah just took a torn cloth and 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 hit the the the, the river and the river parted and he walked through it Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. I come by the mandate of the Almighty God. I speak into your life ahead of time. I speak into your marriage ahead of time. I speak to your business. I speak to your career. I speak to your head. Anything that stands as obstacle, as hindrance on your way. Today, in the name of Jesus, let them give way in the name of Jesus. Let them give way. 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 In the name of Jesus. You know why they need to give way? The Bible says when they go to the river Jordan, when they go to the river Jordan, just a simple instruction. The priest that carry the Ark of Covenant, the priest that carry the Ark of Covenant, they should step forward. And as they are moving forward, the Lord said they will see the wonder. There's a river, an obstruction, 
and Idris in the front. And the Lord said, just carry the ark and step forward. And the priests, they carry the ark on their shoulder. They move forward. The Bible said, as their leg, as they step into the brim, as their leg is touching the river, the river begins to part it. And they will begin to go. The river, they begin to part it. Why? Because they carry the ark of covenant. What is the ark of covenant? Let me quickly explain it to you. It's, a, it's like a chest boss. But inside it, you have an examples of the of the of the, they have the rod of Aaron that bordered inside it. You have the Ten Commandments, the, the 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 word of the Lord, the order, the law of the Lord. You have it inside it, and you have the samples of mono. You have it inside it. You have the twelve stone. You have it inside it. Therefore, another to tally. But here, Mister, that is not where we are going. Upon the top of the boss, upon the top of the Ark of Covenant, there was a cover. There was a cover that covered it. And that cover is called mercy seat. That flat plate that covered the boss, just like our chest boss. That cover on it, that covered the content inside. That is what we call the mercy seat. And on top of that mercy seat, you have two angels of the living God sitting, looking downward. And um, the Bible said, uh, the way they should mold it, they should mold their wing to cover them. So they face each other and they are looking down. What are they looking onto? They are looking onto those instruments inside it. They are looking at the reason why you and I must not be blessed. You know why? You have the Ten Commandments there. And who can fulfill them? Nobody. The laws of the law. Who is righteous? Nobody. But hear this. On top of that, between the angels that were guiding to look at our excuse and our error, between the Satan that is watching to use those things against us, you have the mercy seat. So instead of them to see our error, instead of Satan to see the obstruction, instead of Satan to see the reason why you must not be blessed, instead of Satan to have allegation against you, instead of Satan to see your past error, instead of Satan to see the errors of your parents, instead of Satan to see your weakness, the only thing that you'll be seeing is the mercy seat that cover it. And mercy prevail. Mercy prevail. Today is another beautiful Thursday. Mercy of God will prevail for you in the name of Jesus. Where your strength cannot carry you. The mercy of God will carry you in the name of Jesus. Where your strength cannot prevail. I decree, I declare. The mercy of God will prevail for you. The mercy of God will prevail. We prevail. We prevail. The Bible says mercy prevail over judgment. Mercy prevail over judgment. I want to decree and declare upon somebody. You can say louder, hey amen. I decree, I declare, I legislate it into your life, to your marriage, to your business, to everything that concerns you. Today, the mercy of God will prevail in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God will prevail. 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 They carry the ark. And on top of the ark, you have the mercy seat. And on top of the mercy seat, you have the angels. And in between the angels, that is where you have the mercy seat. And on top of that place, where you have the mercy seat, that is where the ancient of days sit. And as they carry it, what happened? The obstruction, the river, begin to part it. Today, I bring in the ancient of days. I bring in the Lord of Lords. I bring him the I hear that I am. I bring him the one that created the heavens and the heart. He who does obstruction, the one that created them. Because Satan did not create anything. God created everything. Manipulation just set in. The one that created the heavens and the heart. The one that created everything there he. The one that created you. I bring him before you today. And I bring God. And I bring him before those obstructions. That today, the mercy of God will prevail in the name of Jesus. Ministry have started. Sweet Holy Spirit, help me. So please get bring out your mantle now. Bring out your mantle, your prayer request. As I said, those of you who are on the office, please continue your work. Just put it in your front. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
quickly before and be carried away. <laughs> Amen. By the Spirit, by the special grace of God. The Lord said, those of you who have been injured, who have fallen in the area, in one area or the other in the journey of life, God is saying, He will restore you in the name of Jesus and a new life will begin from you. Praise the Lord. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, just say the Lord. I take away your reproach. If you are that person, I want to hear your love that amen. Thus says the Lord. I take away your reproach in the name of Jesus. The Lord take away your reproach. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hear this. A woman, when you are at the age of between 10 and 12, the the shy that they show me was like between 10 and 12 years old between 10 and 12 years old the lord said when i was asking what is the meaning the lord said there's a particular woman that should be coming for this uh, prayer avalanche you'll be attending maybe you are online right now or you are listening to me manipulation set into your life between the age of 10 and 12. i'm not good in uh, that area you know when you see something you'll be able to say it's five it says amen but when i look at that shy that they show me in revelation this the guy must be between age of 10 and 12 cannot be less than but within that area, that was your age when manipulation set in into your life, when error set in into your life, and all the days of your life you have been living with it. Now you are an adult. But that manipulation, that error that was released, that entered into your life, I was not giving the detail of that error. But I just, the Lord just said, the Spirit of the Lord said, at the, between the age of that, uh, that, 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 that woman, Meryl set in into her life when she was in that age. And they showed me that girl. The girl is between the age of 10 and 12. Don't say the Lord God to that woman. That error. That, that error. That entered into your life between that age. And I've turned to reproach. You are living. You are growing with it now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it. In the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it. The Lord cancel it. The Lord cancel it. The Lord cancel it. Those of you with blood related issue, the Lord says go to correct it. There's going to be change of genotype and to crisis. Then those who are having blood flow, abnormal blood flow, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, the hand has come to it in the name of Jesus. Praise be the Lord. Then I saw a child, the from the waist downward was paralyzed. From the waist downward was paralyzed. The Lord is saying he's going to bring healing to that child in the name of Jesus. Wherever the child is, according to the word of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your leg, your feeble, let it be strength in the name of Jesus. Your feeble leg, your feeble knee, let it be strength in the name of Jesus. Then the second child, every tight tongue shall be loose. Those of you who have children that they cannot speak very well as a result of as a result of problem with their tongue. Today, heaven lose it in the name of Jesus. Heaven lose it in the name of Jesus. Heaven lose it in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, declare ceasing of celebration upon them. I stand as the oracle of the Almighty God. I speak with the authority of Christ in the name of Jesus. As many of you that are watching, as many of you that are listening to this audio, as many of you that you are saying amen, ceasing of celebration. Let it start in your life in the name of Jesus. Ceasing of celebration. Let it start. Receive. Enter into a season of celebration in the name of Jesus. You that woman, you that man, you that boy, you that girl, you that marriage, you that business. Enter into a season of celebration in the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of celebration. 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 Every marriage, I'm hearing this one now. Every marriage, every home under crisis. Every marriage, every home under crisis. Every marriage, every home under crisis. I decree, I declare by the all by the power of the Almighty God that crisis that shaking your marriage. Let it cease in the name of Jesus. Let it cease. 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 There was a shaking. There was a storm. There was a posturing storm. That was about to capsize the boat of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was inside it. Yet, somebody will say, will be asked, 
If Jesus was there, why the storm? Yes, they, there must be storm. That storm represents Satan. And don't forget, Satan was going to another place to go and do his work, his miracle, his wonders. So Satan, there are some people there that Satan did not want them to be delivered. So he began to ravage, he began to cause obstruction. And uh, the disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible said they rose up, they arose, and they call him Master, Master, Master. That's a problem. Arise, there's a storm. Because we are about to perish. And the Bible said, Jesus Christ arose and rebuked the sea. Not the wind. He rebuked the sea. The wind was what was causing havoc. But Jesus Christ did not rebuke the wind. He rebuked the sea. You can ask me why. The storm, the wind that represents the storm is upon something. It's upon what? It's upon water. So that storm, that problem originated from the water. And he rebuked the sea. Because if Jesus can have, have rebuked the sea, the wind, that wind may stop. But the sea will bring up another challenge, another problem again. So he went to the source of that problem and he decreed peace be still. And the surface problems die down. I don't know who is that person. There are crises, there are problems in your marriage now that they are shaking you. When you put on clothes, when you are going outside and you are smiling, you are just smiling, but inside you, fire is burning you. When you are smiling, when you are between people and you are smiling, and people are saying, Oh, this beautiful sister, oh, they don't know that there's, there's, that there's something more than fire that is burning you. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. I stand by the holy call of the Almighty God. I decree by the mandate, by the authority of Christ, to that source of problem in your marriage. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. I'm still hearing that I should decree it again. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Jonah enter into a boat. He paid for it. For a transport with other people, I pity those people because the Bible said they have goods, they have cargo, they have things inside the ship, inside the boat. The moment Jonah entered into it and they go to the middle of the sea, there was a storm. The presence of Jonah in that boat wasted everything those people have. They begin to throw it away, throw everything away. And when they empty the whole ship and nothing again, they call him, Oga. Okay? Now it remains us. There's nothing. Who, who is the problem? You know, say I'm the problem. Ha. I keep saying it. If I'm one of those people, you know, say, you know what you are going to do? Just throw me inside the sea. And uh, Jonah was a prophet. He knew that he's not going to die. That is just the trick. Jonah was a prophet. He knew that when they throw him inside this inside the water, he's not going to die. He's a prophet. He knew all this uh, thing. But he has wasted his presence in with them has wasted all their effort. What about if they took loan from bank to go and bought those goods? Who is going to pay the bank loan? You know, say carry me, throw me inside. I won't throw you. Before I throw you, I will break your leg. Go, I break your leg. I break your head. Just carry me, throw me inside water, and I will stand, and I will throw you. I will break your leg. So that even if the... <laughs> hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Anything, anybody that enter into your life, that enter into your marriage, that enter into your business, that enter into your career, and their presence brought problem. Their presence brought calamity. Their presence brought evil to your life. Today, I decree, I declare, that person, that thing, let him be exposed in the name of Jesus. Let that be exposed. Let God separate them. Let God expose them. 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 Let God separate them. Whosoever that journey with your husband, whosoever that journey with your wife, 
whosoever that are joining with your children and they are present in the, in the life of your spouse or the life of your children have caused you have in your life have caused you have in your home i decree i declare before the next 24 hours let god separate them in the name of jesus do you know that there are some people in your life their presence alone hinder the move of god when they are in your life god will not do anything you know why they are wasters of effort they are wasters of destiny they carry this aroma this evil aroma there are some people when they enter into business when they partner with you that business must collapse they carry this evil aroma there's this evil things in them they may not know but anywhere they enter into problem must start there Abraham, I'm going to bless you. This is what you will do. He journeyed with God. But the prophecy of bringing for that glorious side did not come to pass. But just God, God just wants to have mercy on him. Just as God is going to have mercy on every one of us. Those of you who are listening, as God is about to have mercy on you today, there was an issue. God orchestrated an event that lead to the separation of Abraham and Lot, his brother's son. The moment after Lot left Abraham, there was a scripture there that was so silent. And the Bible said, after Lot left Abraham, and the Lord visited him this time around, and the Lord said, the following year was when Abraham gave birth. So, which means the year that, Ab that Lot was released, that Lot was separated from Abraham, that was the year that the wife of Abraham, Sarah, conceived. If Lot has been in the life of Abraham, if Lot continues to be in his life, that will have been the end. He will not hear pa. If he hear pa, is another children from another family that are crying. Who is that person in your life? Who is that person in your home? Who is that person in your marriage? Who is that person in your business? Who is that person in your career? You may employ them, you may be paying them, pay, paying them salary, but they carry this aroma of failure. They carry this aroma of problem that wherever they enter into. Somebody may be saying, but pastor, can we pray for those people? We can pray for them. Yes. I used to cancel people like that, go for deliverance. Amen. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. What about if they belong to this other group that you and I always try to avoid? In the, the Bible says, the Lord makes two verses. Number one, verses of honor to show forth the glory of God. Then the second one, verses of destruction to show forth the anger of God. There is nothing you can pray about that one. My sister, my brother, if, if you are going to pray, why not allow that person to go and say to do deliverance, cast it out before? Who is that person in your life that their present is bringing evil aroma, causing problem, causing havoc? Today, by the mercy of God, let there be separation in the name of Jesus. Who is that person in the life of your spouse that they are present in the life of your spouse are causing for? Today I decree, I declare, let there be separation in the name of Jesus. Let there be separation. 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 I think this is the Holy Spirit want to go this today. I have another thing entirely. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. The Bible says in the book of Esther, chapter 1. Fasty suffered with the king. Fasty must have been with that boy, with that man, before he became a king. She suffered everything with him when the man only had one trust and one shirt. When she now became a king, and there was a time to celebrate anniversary, thank God for what God has done in our life. There was a time we don't have, now we have in essence, we have in surplus. The Bible said, seven men were sitting to the left and to the right of the king seven men and the bible made named them one after the other and their sitting arrangement but the bible called them the princes of Persia, princes of Persia. because many of us we always look at it, oh fasting was wrong i'm not going to talk about it today 
when I see anybody, when I see any men or God without no uh, having apology to anybody, saying if I see what's wrong, she must have come out. I see people who don't study the Bible. I see people who don't read the Bible. I say, pass first she disobeyed the husband. I see people don't read the Bible very well. I see people who don't read the content. If you are the one, will you obey him? We are not talking about it today. The seven prince, princes of Persia were sitting to the left and to the right of the king. Princes of Persia. For you to know who are they, go to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 9. The Bible said, one prince of Persia arrested an angel, detained an angel up there. Huh? Prince, one of them arrested angel so those princes of Persia, those princes they have power over angel they can arrest angel they can tie angel they can lock up angel they can knock it they can ask angel knee down raise up your eyes and close your eyes angels cannot do anything they have power over them one one arrested an angel arrested him arrested his blessing for how many days 21 days that angels will i believe will be in pain and in agony for 21 days so you now have seven of like-minded evil people surrounded the husband of fasting and the bible said they were drinking for how many days seven days back to back morning to night night and when you read your bible the bible said on the seventh day they were merry what is the meaning of merry they were drunk. So when they were now drunk, the husband now said, My wife, that attire I bought for you, go and bro, bro, uh, uh, put it on and come and dress and come and dance for us. What are the attire? Go and goggle and study the Egyptian dress. It's just simple. There's nothing, there's nothing new today. When you see ladies outside there walking naked, only with their bra and with their pants some of them what they will even put on is this ring and they, they are showing it it has been on it has been on forget it they are just modernizing it that was what they asked them to do what to put on that was what their uh, husband go and read it is uh, there the need detail <laughs> that was it so please man if you are the wife your husband is drunk with several of his friends, all of them are drunk. Your husband has said, Come and dance for us. Are you going to dance for dance for, for drunk people? My wife, if I ask you, I trust my wife. She the kind of eyes. I minister in a woman program and I showed them detail about it from the Bible. And I asked them, What woman was boiling? And the woman said, When he's not mad, when he's not crazy, when he's. <laughs> I said, Ma, I'm just explaining. The woman was angry. He said, He's drunk. He said, Mbato Yaweri. Nibato Sherry. Nibato Yawandi. Ah, ah, ma. I'm the one here. Don't boss me. <laughs> Amen. That was what happened there. But that was not the problem. When you read the book of the, the Esther chapter 1, the Bible said, These seven princes of Persia that was with the king. They understood the time. What time is? Eh? When you see those who understood time, it's talking about spiritual people. It's talking about those who know what is about to happen. They know that it is the time. This is the time for this wife to be blessed. So they set in manipulation. Spirit, when they drink, they drink for fun. Spirit. When they drink, they drink for fun. But you that you are ordinary man, when you drink small like this, you are intoxicated. Seven princes, seven spiritual entity, seven power, seven principality, seven rulers of darkness, seven spirits. They were with the king. They were drinking. And drink that king that is ordinary man was drinking with them. When they take one cup, you two will take one cup. When they take one bottle, you two will take one bottle. They are deceiving him. Because they can never, never be drunk. They are spirits. So they want him to get drunk. Seven days they were drinking. They were drinking. They were popping it, popping it. He was drinking, was drinking. After seven days, he was drunk. Because the Bible said they understood the time. Who is that person that is walking 
in you with your husband who is that person that is befriending your husband who is that person that is working in your business or company in your husband company who are those family who are those relatives that are working that are joining with your husband joining with your wife who are those people that are your children's friend but their spirit their spiritual being to understand the time that this is the time for your husband to be blessed this is time for and they are trying to bring you some manipulation to make sure that that blessing that is coming they divert it who is that person that is working with your husband who is that person that is your husband friend who is that person that is your husband advisor they have seen all they just want to cause effort so that that blessing will not come I decree, I declare by the fire of the Almighty God, by the fire of separation. Let God separate them in the name of Jesus. Let there be separation. 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 Who are those people in your friend in your children's class? You see them as children, but they are adults in the spirit realm. I decree, I declare. Anyone journey with your children, anyone playing with your children, but they have hidden motive. Let God separate them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Let's take two prayer more. I believe this is what God wants to do today. Lamentation 3, 22, 23. Lamentation 3, 22, 23. Lamentation 3, 22 23 i received a testimony some minutes about less than one hour before we come online i'm not surprised about that testimony i'm just happy i'm not surprised i'm happy it's a testimony from one of us online who have a company and she's 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 into debt she's into to debt that person sleeping is 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 far from from that person because of the debt and suddenly they just call him from nowhere that please can you do this thing for us and it's some one of the things that that person like to do he said why not just and that person just do it as if you are just like fun just like when you call me now that can you come and help us pray for somebody I will pray just like fun. <laughs> Amen. If you ask me, can you come and teach on prayers, teach on intercession, teach on gate, teach on this, teach on or oh, I have a I have people I want to raise prayer team. Can you come and teach us? Oh, forget it. I don't need your money. It gives me joy when I do things like that. And they now say we they will pay her. They are, okay, oh yeah, let's do it. And uh, to the glory of God. The person said yesterday, she have done it. Yesterday, they pay her the money what they pay her pay a debt and she also have leftover did i say she <laughs> they pay her when they pay her she used the money to pay all her debt and that was left over new beginning new beginning as many of you who are under the yoke of debt and that is giving you concern when you are smiling you are not you are just smiling facially inside you you are crying today the same way god intervene in the affairs of that woman let god intervene in your affairs in the name of jesus let god bail you out in the name of jesus i said let god bail you out in the name of jesus let god raise help for you in the name of jesus help 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 the help of the almighty god to overcome death receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lamentation 3, 22, 23. Lamentation 2, Lamentation 3, 22, 23. Lamentation 3, 22, 23. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. Verse 23. They are new every morning. They are new. Every morning, a new thing. Every money, a new thing. Every money, a new thing. Every money, they are new. Every money, they are new. Every money. Psalm 30, verse 5. Psalm 30, verse 5. Psalm 30, 
fast five psalm 30 fast five. i don't know any one of you are online right now you are listening to the voice of god through me and there are issue that is giving you concern it's like the uh, the arts just every i was among some people so la about last year and the man just said okay is it not possible the way i'm just seeing this thing it's like heaven should just crash let everybody just die let god destroy everything i said ah can you know what's happen i never do anything i never <laughs> no everything was not he said i just feel that the whole world should just crash what's happen and when he begin to share his problem i said eh, ah this one is <laughs> because of those problems just want to so instead of only you to die you want all of us to just die no i said god will bring solution life is sweet oh <laughs> kai you don't know many people are passing through a lot of things but may god intervene in the in the life of people like that in the name of jesus psalm 30 verse 5 psalm 30 verse 5 but his anger endured but a moment in his favor is life weeping may endure for a night weeping may endure for a night the whole night from 6 p.m till daybreak it may be weeping it may be problem it, may, it is those who are facing that we understand when one minute is like 10 years you are looking at time each second is like a year token uh -uh. taken uh -uh. taken uh -uh. It's like it should speed up, but the more you want it to speed up, the more it's like the timing is slow. It's slow. You look at it, it's just five minutes. You close your eyes. Oh Lord, help me, oh Lord. Ah, what am I going to do? To you, you think that oh it's like three hours. You look at it again, it's just two minutes. Weeping may endure for a night. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. I don't know what has been going on in your life. It may be a season of weeping. It may be a season of problem. It may be a season of crisis. It may be a season of problem. Season of problems but hear what the lord god is saying but joy commit in the morning but joy commit in the morning but joy come commit in the morning and in the book of that lamentation that we read lamentation 3 23 said they are new every every morning every morning so joy is not just coming a brand new joy a brand new thing a brand new opportunity a brand new promotion a brand new fruitfulness every opportunity that you have lost that you thought that you have gone a brand new 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 i declare i declare upon every one of you in that situation today that in the name of jesus your season of weeping let it expire in the name of jesus let it expire 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 your season of crisis your season of loss your season of wasting your season of crying your season of travel your season of problem let it come to an end in the name of jesus let it expire let it expire let it expire but joy comes in the morning. This is your money time. No matter what the clock in your hand is saying, prophetically, this is your money time. Your joy come now. The joy in that, in that marriage come now. The joy in that business that you have lost, let it be restored. In that marriage, here means that here means the marriage at the at the at the at the Canaan. The Bible says the very first day of that marriage as they were trying to institute that marriage what happened the wine finished the wine represents joy it finished people that are just going into that marriage the joy of that marriage expired that day but jesus christ entered into it and he brought a fresh new wine and when they tasted it they said this wine is even better than any wine that we have tasted every one of you that your marriage is under crisis every one of you that your business is not under crisis every one of you that what is what's supposed to be giving you joy is giving you weeping is giving you bitterness is giving you reproach today in the name of jesus let the hand of the almighty god restore joy in the name of jesus 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 I declare, I declare upon every one of you. Please take your um, mantle, take your mantle, take your prayer request, take your mantle, take your prayer request. Lift it up, lift it up. For those of you who believe in 
anointing oil. If you have the anointing oil there, I didn't ask you to bring it, but if you have it there, please carry it in your hand. If you are there, you are in your house, if you can get a, a bottle of water, amen. If you are under, if you have any ill um, any ailment, please get a water, hold it in your hand, lift everything up. 30 seconds to do that. Your prayer request, lift it up. Your mantle, this is my own. Your mantle, lift it up. If you have your anointing oil, how to go and get a fresh new anointing oil? A fresh new one this morning. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? The in, in, in Luke 18 38 downward, the blind man heard that Jesus Christ was passing by and he cried unto him, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of me, David, have mercy on me. The more he cried, the more people asked him to silence, to be quick, to keep quiet. Because even if Jesus is going to attend to anybody, it's not like you. We that we can walk, we that we can see, we that are better than you, Jesus have not attended to us. So how much more you that you are just you are you are blind you are good for nothing but the bible said the more they ask him to silence the more he keep crying jesus son of david have mercy of me and the bible said it goes to a point jesus christ stood still the ancient of they stood still and when jesus christ stood still every other people that are part that are joining with him every people around every creation what happened they stood still the man stop. Everybody stop. The man pause. Everybody stop. Everybody pause. Everything in heaven and the earth they pause. Why? Because the cry of that man, the cry of mercy, arrested Jesus Christ. And that Jesus Christ stood still. Everything on earth, everything in creation stood still. Today, concerning that prayer request in your hand, concerning that mantle in your hand, concerning that anointing in your hand. Concerning that bottle water in your hand, concerning your health issue, concerning your marital case, concerning your business case, concerning your financial status, concerning everything that I have to do with you, I decree, I declare, let the mercy of God prevail in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God, let it speak for you. Let it prevail. 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 Let it speak for you. Those prayer points. Those prayer requests that you are lifting up right now. If you are not having it, just lift up your hand. If you are just joining us, just raise up your hand. That hand that you are raising up represent your prayer need, your prayer request. Those prayer requests that you are lifting up, I decree, I declare, the mercy of God, let it prevail over them in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God, let it prevail. 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 They kept silent him. Silent, keep quiet. You are not worthy for Jesus Christ to attend to you. Every negative force. That I'll be silencing you. Every evil force that the enemy will be projecting to your life, to your marriage, to your business, to your career, in order to silence you, in order to silence your glory, in order to silence what God is about to do in your life. Today, the mercy of God prevail in the life of that man. I decree, I declare. If you can say louder, amen. Let the mercy of God prevail in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God prevail in the name of Jesus. Let his mercy prevail. Let it 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 prevail. The mercy of God terminate reproach in the life of that man. Today, I speak to every one of you that people are reproaching you. Everything about you is about reproach. Even your own partner, your husband, your wife, your best friend, they don't trust you again. It has become a reproach. I reproach to them. Today, as the mercy of God terminate reproach in the life of that man, every reproach that you brought before the Lord God of this program, let the mercy of God terminate it in the name of Jesus. His enemy keep asking him to keep silent. But the mercy of God, instead of silencing him, silence the enemy. Today, every enemy of your soul, every enemy of your marriage, every enemy of your business, every enemy of your career, I decree, I declare, let the mercy of God silence them in the name of Jesus. Let God silence them. Let God silence them. Whatever the enemy wants to use to silence you, 
Whatever the enemy wants to do to silence your marriage, whatever the enemy wants to do to silence your children, your voice that the enemy did not want to hear, the voice of your business, the voice of your career, the voice of your glory that the enemy did not want to hear, I decree, I declare, he said your voice to go down. Let the mercy of God silence the voice of your enemy in the name of Jesus. The, the mercy of God prevail for that man. Today, the mercy will prevail for you in the name of Jesus. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. By the mercy of God that the man cried for, men did not prevail over him, but he prevailed over them. Men that are saying should keep quiet because you are not worthy to be blessed. You are not worthy to be among us. You are not worthy. You are not this. You are not that. They did not prevail. He was the one that prevailed over them. I decree, I declare upon you, sir. I decree, I declare upon you, man. I decree upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career, upon your children, upon everything that concerns you. Men will not prevail in the name of Jesus. Men will not prevail in the name of Jesus. Men will not prevail in the name of Jesus. Those that have said, go, let's see what will come out of it. Those that are saying, go, but you don't go far. Those that are saying, we are waiting to hear your news. Those that are saying, we are waiting, oh my God, is coming back with shame and reproach let him go he's playing because very soon he will soon enter into barbwire i decree i declare that today by the mercy of god by the mercy of god you will prevail over men in the name of jesus men will not prevail over you in the name of jesus over those situations, over those circumstances, over those events that are giving you sleepless night, that are giving you concern, that are giving you headache, in the name of Jesus, go today and begin to prevail over them in the name of Jesus. Go and begin to prevail over them in the name of Jesus. And at the end, Jesus Christ attended to him, the blind man yesterday, today, his eyes open. You could see a new thing. You could see a beautiful thing. You could see the glory of God. And what now happened? A new thing began in his life. Because he's not going to go back to that place as a beggar again. Because he will no longer depend on men to help him again. Because he will no longer depend on men to lead him again. He could see. He'll be able to do things for himself. I decree, I declare that by the mercy of god a new team begin in your life in the name of jesus a new team begin in your life in the name of jesus if you are saying a louder amen i decree i declare a new season begin in the name of jesus a new era begin in the name of jesus a new season begin in the name of jesus a new era begin in the name of jesus a new opportunity begin in the name of jesus so shall it be why not just wave those things in your hand the prayer request the man to wave it unto the living God. I ask, let the Lord God, as we are waving it, let the Lord God incubate them. The power of the Almighty God for miracle, for healing, for signs and wonder, let it locate them. The power of God for healing, let it flow into that, into that oil, let it flow into that water, in the name of Jesus. That prayer request in your hand, the power of the Almighty God for testimony, let it flow, let it incubate it, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This is the end of day two. By the special grace of God, let's not forget our Fiji continue tonight, 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. Nigeria time. Not on Facebook, on our online church, Free Conference Call Lab. If you need a link or information how to get it, please send it before that time. Like 30 minutes to one hour before that time, I don't i'm not able to send or chat with people because at that time said i'm praying or i'm going over what i need to deliver what god want me to deliver amen but before then if you need link or if you are having problem or challenge in how to log in please before that time just send a message to my whatsapp number and we will see how to go about it amen the lord will help us in the name of jesus tomorrow is friday it's all it's our communal service from the communal service, we will be having different kind of healing. Amen. Testimony about healing. Join me tomorrow for communal service. Amen. It's going to be two in one ministration. The prayer avalanche will merge with communal service. So when you are coming, come with something to eat, like biscuit, like bread, like cake. 
you come with it and come with a drink amen a water a bottle water drink juice the lord bless us in the name of jesus for those of you who partner with us who send your seed your tithe your offering may the lord god bless you in the name of jesus may the lord god increase you in the name of jesus god gave moses the pattern of the breeding but moses cannot build god gave moses the pattern of the breeding but moses cannot build moses cannot build so god have to raise men that will support him god has given us the vision for this ministry but believe me we cannot do it all as many of you that god is raising to support this ministry to lift up my hand in prayer in money in encouragement i decree i declare in the name of jesus that god the power behind this ministry let him support you in the name of jesus let me read the woman's testimony let me read something that she said believe me this just unbelievable the testimony that she had. she said believe me 10 23 a.m precisely this just unbelievable this just unbelievable why she did not expect it she did not even think she her mind everything about her is not in that area for those of you who partner with us to support us you send in your seat you send in your tithe you send in your offering just as this woman said you know this is unbelief unbelievable never experienced anything like this you know this is unbelievable never experienced anything like this amen and she now said believe me this just unbelievable for those of you in that category unbelievable testimony testimony that you don't dream healing that you can't just imagine breakthrough that you cannot just explain unbelievable miracle unbelievable testimony unbelievable wonder may the lord god begin to breathe it begin to release it into your life in the name of jesus till you come again tomorrow by the special grace of god for day three or this night for our online fiji my name is ariola orelua the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry you need detail you need information you want to ask questions or you want somebody to pray for you you are free send message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five till we meet next time go forth and begin to prevail by the mercy of god jesus name praise ye the lord